Hey Disco friends, this is Tatiana and in this video I will show you how you can make the most out of the multi-user accounts and app sharing features on Quest 2. I have already made a video explaining these functions, but I still get a lot of questions about it, so I wanted to make a clear video explainer and a tutorial that will show you exactly what you can do and what you cannot do with these features. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more fun and informative VR content. If you're ready, let's go! Let's start from the beginning, multi-user account. This means that even if you have only one Quest 2 headset in your household, you can create multiple accounts on that headset so that you don't have to share your friends list, your game progress and high scores with other people who may be using your Quest 2. To add a new account, go to settings, click on accounts and in the top right corner, click on add account. Then you can give the headset to the other person who can use their credentials and follow the directions to create a new account. They'll be guided through the initial setup, which includes logging into Facebook and setting up the guard. In. There can be up to three additional accounts added on the same headset, so you will have one primary account and up to three secondary accounts. The primary account is the headset's administrator account. It's the first one you link to your Quest 2 when you set it up. And now let's talk about the app sharing feature. The primary account has the ability to share the apps with secondary accounts. For this, just toggle this switch. And now all the apps that support this app sharing feature, which is most of the apps, will automatically appear on the secondary account as well which is really good, but not quite good enough. Where this feature really comes in handy is when sharing games not just with another account, but also with another headset. That way you can play multiplayer games together and you will only need to buy the game once. And I'm excited to show you how to do that. App sharing works with official games, but also with App Lab games. For example, one game that I really enjoy playing is Boombox VR. If you're a fan of rhythm-based games, but want to experience something different from Beat Saber, then you should definitely check out Boombox VR. The App Lab version of this game has 16 beautiful environments and in addition to the 28 base songs, there are also around 400 licensed songs skillfully mapped by the community and available to download directly in the game from the menu in the Community Maps tab. From here, simply download the songs you like and they will appear in the local songs menu. One of my favorite things here is of course the grumpy but adorable looking cat that follows you everywhere you can pet her in the home screen and she purrs, how precious. And as you play, you unlock different achievements, skins and hats for your cat. If you'd like to challenge your creativity, you can even create your own map as Boombox VR has its own mapping editor and you will even find a mapping editor tutorial on their website. I will leave the link below in the description. This game is also released on Rift and Steam and currently there is a deal on Steam where you can get Boombox VR in a bundle with O-Shape and Audio trip, which is a great deal, so check it out if you'd like, I left all the links in the description. But back to app sharing. If you would like to share a game like Boombox to not just a different account, but to a different headset, here's what you need to do. Let's say you have two headsets. One of them has your account, let's call it account A, as a primary account. You want this second headset to have all the same games as the games you bought on your primary account A, so that you can play multiplayer games. For this, you will need to set the same account A as the primary account on this second headset. If you already have a different account set as a primary here, you can change it by factory resetting your quest, and you can do it from the Oculus app. So now you have two headsets, but one in the same account A is set as the primary account on both of them. Now here comes the important part. Add a secondary account to the second headset. Let's call it account B. Then enable app sharing and after that sign in to this headset with the secondary account. First you sign out from this account and sign in with your secondary one. And here as you can see all the apps from your primary account A that support app sharing are automatically appearing in your secondary account as well and you can download and play them. You will have separate scores, separate contact lists, but you will have access to the same games and you will even be able to play multiplayer games together. That's what you need to do in a nutshell. But I also want to talk about a few important things that you can and cannot do with app sharing because there are some things that cause quite a bit of confusion and I want to clarify them all for you here. First, while most games support app sharing, not all apps do. For example, last I've heard, Beat Saber does not support app sharing, so even if you have this feature enabled, you will need to buy your own copy of Beat Saber on your secondary account. 
Second, while you can share apps from the primary account to your secondary account, it doesn't go the other way, meaning you cannot share the games you bought on your secondary account to your primary account. If you have a shared household, I simply recommend you buy all your games on your primary account and then just keep sharing them and don't buy any games on the secondary account. Third, app sharing can be enabled only on one headset, meaning you can share your games with only one other headset. If you have a third headset, you cannot do this trick because the system will tell you that you already have app sharing enabled on your account on a different headset. So if you want to add a third player to the game, they will need to use their own account and their own game. Fourth, and this one is really annoying, only a primary account is authorized to transfer files to your computer. Meaning if you record a gameplay footage or take screenshots on a secondary account, you will not be able to transfer them to your computer. In fact, if you're logged in with your secondary account, you won't even get a prompt to allow data transfer when you connect it to your PC. So taking videos and photos on a secondary account is pretty much useless unless you're going to share them via Facebook, which is something very few users do. So remember, only the videos and screenshots taken on the primary account can be transferred to your computer. The same goes for any data transfer, really. For example, the Boombox VR community maps I talked about earlier cannot be downloaded when using a secondary account. But there is a way around it, so you can install custom content on your secondary account by using a third-party data transfer tools. This is the same way as you would do to install custom content for synth writers, and these steps are described on this web page which I will also include in the description below as I'm sure that you'll find it helpful for some games like Boombox VR, Synthwriters and maybe some others. And that's pretty much all you need to know about multi-user accounts and app sharing on Quest 2. I hope that this video has answered most of your questions and provided you with some useful information on how to make the most out of these features and also clarified for you what you can and cannot do with app sharing. Let me know in the comments if you are using this trick to share your games with other headsets without buying the games twice and which multiplayer games are you playing with your friends and family by using app sharing. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and of course subscribe Subscribe to Disco VR for more fun and informative VR content. A big shout out goes to my awesome patrons. Thank you so much for the extra support to the channel. And if you also would like to help out some more, you can become a patron by following the link in the description below. I really appreciate your support and even considering becoming a patron. That's it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming.